guys. So today you join me from the driver's seat of a very anticipated car for me. I've always wanted to drive one of these. As everyone knows on the channel, I am a huge Lexus fan. Massive shout out to Sam for bringing his ISF down for me to shoot today. This must be the wettest day ever right now. And I've got a V8 five litre, 460 brake horsepower ISF at my disposal. We're gonna put it in manual. We're gonna put it in sport mode right there as well. And we're gonna enjoy some roads in this car today. Lexus ISF, five litre V8 from the factory. This one ain't standard either. As you can hear, traction control actually going ballistic right now in these conditions, but it has the five litre V8 producing 416 brake horsepower from the factory. This one is not standard. It has got a cat-back exhaust system on it, still retaining two resonators and four catalytic converters in this system. And it sounds like an absolute rocket ship. Ooh. Now I am short shifting in this video, do not get me wrong. Once you hit that 3,000-ish RPM, the V8 absolutely roars its head off. Now the gearbox in this, eight speed as well, is actually pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed with it, considering what other Lexus gearboxes are like, you know, they're not performance-based, don't get me wrong. This one is actually quite, <laughs> quite quick at changing gear. As you can see, they went from second into third, span the wheels straight away. Now, competitors, let's talk about competitors straight away. The E92 M3, I think, is a very strong competitor for this car, as well as the C63 AMG. And although the BMW is great, I've driven one, but not on camera. I've done a review on a C63, I've driven a couple of them as well. There's never an idea that you would either buy a BMW E92, the M3, the ISF, or the C63, it's only ever the M3 or the C63, and I don't quite understand that because this would be my option. It's a little bit quirky, a little bit different really, especially from Lexus, this was their first real crack at something like this. You know, the Toyota brand coming from the Supra that was long dead when this came out, and then before the LFA coming out. This was sort of their first poke in the dark at this sort of thing, and I must admit they did a fantastic job at really taking what was, you know, the relatively good, Boring, slightly, IS. Whacking a five litre V8 into it, making the, you know, the track of the car so much wider as well, really showing off its curves. When you put this next to a completely standard IS, you really, really see a difference. So guys, it's a little bit wet, it's a little bit windy, it's bloody cold. Let's have a quick look around this Lexus ISF. Now, starting off, 2008 5 litre V8, 460 brake horsepower in these. Coming round though, you see a huge difference from this, and you know, a regular diesel one, from these couple of bits that I'm personally in love with on these. Coming around the front, the actual, arches bulge right out on these. This one actually has um, carbon eyelids on the front as well, but you really do see a huge difference. Massive power sort of bulge onto the bonnet and coming down. The thickness of, the, of this car is, is just crazy. Added bits to it are the carbon splitter at the front. The front grille's been blacked out as well. Carbon eyelids, I've already said. Six piston calipers at the front. Um, again, quite a cheap um, thing to have on this. They're, you know, relatively cheap 
to actually change uh, this and pads on one of these, so I've been told. Um, coming to the side as well, this gill and the broadness of this sort of part of the car with the F sort of badge in there, absolutely love it. You can really tell a difference from this and you know, a normal one. Wind flex is just going down the side and again, bulging right out at the back. You can see some real thickness in there. Coming around the back of the car though, this is probably my favorite sort of side to it. The um, duck bill uh, spoiler that's been put on this one, the carbon fiber one, absolutely love it. And the cat back exhaust system. What I loved about these when I saw them on Top Gear originally was the four exhausts. This one's had, you know, some different exhausts put on it, but I love the, the four sort of going one there, one there, and then one there, one there coming sort of down and up on the exhaust. Really, really cool thing. The um, rear badges have been blacked out as well. Really love the look of this car, honestly. I, I, I think it's bloody awesome. Coming down this side again, you can see the thickness and sort of the bulge in the bonnet and love that sort of side of it, the bulged out look. Coming inside the car, obviously this has keyless entry, keyless start this one. Got F badging on the steering wheel and in the back as well. These actually come with carbon fiber standard as well. So these doors, sort of white silvery carbon fiber and again white silvery carbon fiber in the dash center as well coming inside the car let's start her up shall we it'd be rude not to flappy paddles on these as well which is awesome but keyless start you get oh you get that v8 noise oh love it you get a sweep of the uh dials as well in these with the f badging coming up and as a interior these quality wise are unbelievable i love my lexuses so i'm a bit partial to um a lexus interior but you have literally everything here folding mirrors uh, all your controls down here seating arrangement heated seats you've got sport mode just up here with your traction control buttons as well you've got rake um you know electric rake on the steering wheel as well all of the um buttons on the steering wheel with your phone uh up and down mode with you know the uh media center you also have sat nav on this one all of this is all touchscreen as well really really cool features you know that a lot of people don't know about these lexuses that there's so much going on in one of these tech wise you you would see you know a huge difference from this and you know a bmw or a c63 of the same era in my opinion these have a lot more going for them that's just the way i see it i know a lot of people will not like that but I've got a passion for these sort of cars, I really do. And I think, you know, seating wise as well, these bucket seats that it comes with, still very comfortable, but the bolsters are huge in there. So you really sit in there. It's just got such a sense of occasion in here. And you know, you think that Lexus are boring or comfy cars, you know, for old people. And then you step in one of these and you sit in these big seats, you realize that there's only, you know, four, seating there's two seats in the back with a you know a plastic thing in the center it's got a very purposeful vibe in here comfy but with that strong v8 power i am absolutely in love big time with this one so what does it really feel like to drive this isf now it's very nimble very twitchy in the wet i do like the turn in of the front end where these are so much you know broader wider Especially with the Michelin tyres that are on this one, you know, the, the factory cars will come with the Michelins. It's a fantastic amount of grip, especially from the front end. You do have that wiggle from the rear end, so you know full well you'll get a cheeky drift out of this if you ever want to. It has the power to twitch the back end if needs be. Fight from the rear end is always awesome when the actual front of the car is so nimble. You've got to remember that this is the smallest car that Lexus was making at the time. So it was only right that they produced it, this car, with this engine. And I think if they had put it in the series GS that I had, you know, the third generation, it wouldn't have been as good. It wouldn't have been as nimble. It would have been a bit more boat-like. And it wouldn't have been a competitor to the, to the M3 and, you know, the C63. And I think this is... <laughs> Just an awesome competitor from a car company that weren't playing that, that game. They weren't doing this. This was a car that, you know, was developed 
not alongside any other you know version of itself it wasn't really a successor to another version of this this was the first generation this that this happened and you've got to have hats off to Lexus for producing it because you know they knew their target demographic wasn't this car it wouldn't be you know a, a car enthusiast that wanted a big engine but they did it anyway and I love that they did Toyota and you know the Lexus brand really just pushing that boundary to have something like this in their lineup massive hats off to it and that's why I like Lexus you know you can go and pick up you know a luxury cheaper newer car or you could go and pick something like this up now and you know these are in the 20s you know let's talk about price they're in the 20s you know sub 20 if you want one with a bit more mileage but it doesn't come with the overheads that a c63 would definitely brakes and servicing and stuff is nowhere near as much as a c63 if you've ever owned one or ever had a friend with a c63 you know full well how much they are for brakes pads you know all that sort of stuff to keep it going these the front brakes are 300 quid to service it three four hundred quid say you know yeah depending on where you go you know lexus will charge you more don't get me wrong but there is a huge difference in price especially with the upkeep of one of these petrol let's talk about petrol you're gonna get 17 18 mpg in this one you know on a run you're in your 23 24 mpg it ain't about that though i think you know full well going into one of these cars it's going to be expensive but you do not get just an unbelievable sense of enjoyment luxury as well we're still here the only one thing i need to point out me and sam were talking about this the owner they are quite stiff as standard these cars so if you do have one and you want to keep the luxury feel of a lexus say or you, you know you've never really had anything on coilovers this would be stiffer than coilovers in my opinion so if you were to get one or if i were to get one i would definitely put bc's or, or something on there just to soften it up a bit yes old man at heart over it wants to put a softer suspension on one of the best lexuses he's ever driven yeah i know well that one out but i get it i get this car i get that the competitor being you know the m3 and the c63 hands down for me this is the one i would have oh sam you've hit a dream car tick in my box i've always wanted to drive one of these hats off you for having one as well i i love the fact that you guys have these cars at home and, and are driving them on a daily basis this is his daily car as well I would daily the living crap out of this. I think it's awesome. I really do. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Terrible weather again on one of my favourite car video shoots, but we will revisit this car 100% in the summer. Hit up fydapparel.com, cop yourself some FYD merch to support the channel. I'm going to go and enjoy this car on the way back. And I oh, just... It's just awesome, it really is. If you're going to buy a C63, if you're going to buy an M3, go and drive one of these. Yes, I'm a Lexus man at heart, do not get me wrong. But, I don't know, for me, this is the one. This would be the one I'd pick. And make sure you subscribe for plenty more car content, and I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers, guys.